So NDTV spoke to WikiLeaks' Julian Assange on those 4,000 Pakistani cables. Assange said that these indicate the U.S. ambassadors were suspicious of the ISI's cooperation in the hunt of bin Laden because the ISI could also be protecting the mastermind of 9-11. Julian Assange now joining us, the head of WikiLeaks, joining us from Bangay in, in, uh, in, in England. Uh, Julian, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first of all, perhaps we've, we've just told our viewers about these Pakistan cables that we are now going to be bringing out uh, together with, with WikiLeaks and, and uh, the Hindu and, and, and Dawn as well. Um, would you like to just talk to us a little bit about this cooperative effort and what you think the Pakistan cables could, could contain? Well, it is our information from diplomatic sources that the Pakistani cables uh, will be of significant importance to the region and to the people uh, of Pakistan. That's not a surprise when you consider the U.S. involvement in Pakistan uh, over the years and when you consider uh, what has happened uh, in, in the past few days. Um, Pakistan is seen to be the, the centre uh, of terror um, by the U.S. Uh, and uh, the centre of its difficulties uh, with Afghanistan. So we expect to see a, a rich uh, diplomatic uh, traffic about um, how the United States was working uh, in Pakistan and uh, its complaints uh, and inducements uh, to the Pakistani government. Right. Julian, we are going to be, of course, releasing these Pakistan cables over a period of time, one by one. There are lots of them. There's something like almost 4,000, 4,700 cables. It's going to take time to go through those. But I think one of the first and the most immediate questions that we are really looking at, and that's a big question the world is asking, how much did uh, Pakistan know about the president of Osama bin Laden right there in the military backyard? And, you know, were they cooperating or not? with the United States, were they leading the United States on. Uh, you've, of course, glanced at many of the cables yourself. What's your own sense of this? Well, my, my view, and, and it's still early days yet, remember that there are 4,000, and it takes some time to do correlations between them and compare them to um, other, other facts. But is that there's mixed messages coming across from the Pakistani government. Clearly, the United States ambassadors um, and visiting U.S. politicians are deeply suspicious about um, whether the ISI is fully cooperating uh, in the hunt for bin Laden or, or whether uh, they were protecting him. And, but we can see some uh, quite robust defences um, by the Pakistani government uh, in, in particular cases in saying where they have uh, cooperated on, on issues. And an example that uh, was given... Um, of the United States uh, referring to a particular individual um, who might have been Osama bin Laden, a photograph taken by U.S. agents, um, and the Pakistani government then went um, and arrested uh, that person, and they said it, it was not um, bin Laden after all. So they, they posit that as an example um, of their cooperation, but in other areas the cooperation seems to be lacking. But extremely interesting to see that um, in the end, uh, bin Laden appears to have been hiding uh, within Pakistan and quite close to uh, a Pakistani military base. Right. So, Julian, we might, of course, keep on, as we keep going through these cables, we might keep coming back to you and getting uh, snap views from you. But your sense is that the Pakistani cables are going to contain some um, information that is, that is potentially damaging. We are, we are we're going to go through some of that as well. Um, we've already seen from Tajikistan and other places indications that Osama bin Laden was almost systematically tipped off whenever coalition forces got close to him. Yes, that's right. Um, but my, my take on it is that what we're going to see is a richness, um, and that's certainly now experience in other countries as well, both the richness in the U.S. interactions, that there are different sides taking different positions, um, and the richness from the Pakistanis. We will see um, everything, I suspect, um, from really quite strong evidence of um, ISI tip-offs um, all the way through to some sections of the ISI taking a, a really um, hand-in-glove approach with U.S. intelligence right. to, to stop certain factions uh, of Al-Qaeda. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.